Hello friends and welcome to another lecture on chemical engineering thermodynamics. Today we will look, we will solve rather a problem which has come in Mumbai University December 18 and the problem is 5B. Now this has come in CET 1 paper that is chemical engineering thermodynamics 1 paper. It's a very interesting problem and I'm just raring to solve it. Calculate the joule Thomson coefficient at 25 degrees Celsius and 1 atmosphere if CO2 follows the van der Waals equation of state. Now the CP is given to you, right? A and B values of CO2 are given to you. Now uh, you can look for the lecture which shows how to derive the expression for the joule thomson coefficient okay you it will it will be in the card which is on the top of the video so you can click that and uh, you will also easily find it on my playlist right so let's take the expression let's start with the expression now and the expression is mu jt that is mu joule thomson is equal to cp t into dou v by dou t at constant pressure p minus v right now i whenever i try to put the solution for problem i never put the final expression and then you know solve it because how many expressions would a student remember it is better to remember the fundamentals and use or derive the expressions then and there when the problem comes to you and solve it and that's my approach and it's a very easy approach where you are less stressed on your memory okay so the van der Waals equation of state is p is equal to rt over v minus b minus a by v square now all we have to do is find dou v by dou t at constant pressure p so if the pressure is constant and we differentiate it we are going to get zero and dou v by dou t at constant pressure p so we are going to get the first expression as r upon v minus b the second expression is going to be r t v minus b and that's going to be dou v by dou t at P, and this is going to be a square minus 2a by v cube dou v by dou t at constant pressure p so we have pretty much got an expression for dou v by dou t we need to only solve it out right so if we have to solve it out so let us see uh, it was yes there would be a plus sign here and uh, we can write this expression as r t over v minus b the whole square minus 2a by v cube dou v by dou t at constant pressure p is equal to r over v minus b and therefore we get t dou v by dou t as r t v minus b over r t v minus b the whole square minus 2a by v cube that is the expression we get now now we need to calculate this okay so what the if you have to calculate the rhs what you need is only the volume and the temperature now a and b values are given to you right so what we can do here is we can say take the van der Waals equation of state and find the volume 
so it is better always to take it in the cubic form so the cubic form of the van der waals equation of state is pv cube minus bp plus rt v square plus av minus ab is equal to 0 right so what is the pressure we have now the pressure it's given is pressure we have is 1 mega pascal and this translates to 1000 kilo pascals and the temperature that we have is 25 degree celsius which now translates to 273.15 plus 25 that makes it 298.15 kelvins we have to take temperature in kelvins to solve the above equation right so now the above expression is going to be 1000 v cube minus so bp plus rt so let's start with the calculator so b is going to be 0.0803 so that's 0.0803 b into p that is 1000 plus r into that's 2559.12 2559.12 v square plus a the value of a is 365.58 so that's 365.58 and finally the expression of minus ab now this is going to be equal to 0 so the value of ab so A is 365.58 into 0.08.03.03. That's A into B. That's 29.356. That's 29.35. Six, right? So we have these values, and we have finally got our expression for the volume. Now let's solve for the volume. So we go to the calculator. We go to mode one. We go to mode five, and we select four, which is for the cubic equation. Now we put thousand minus two thousand five hundred and fifty nine point one two. Three hundred and sixty-five point five eight, and minus twenty-nine point three fifty six. So we get our volume. The first volume is two point four one two six. Okay. So the first volume V one is two point four one two six. Two point four one Two six meter cube per k mole, right? And the second volume is, as we can see here, it's very clearly it's a complex volume, which needs to be rejected. And the third volume is going to be the complex conjugate of it, so that also needs to be rejected. We have only one real volume in this case because volumes can only be real. So we have one real volume here. so let's go to mode 1 to set up a calculator so now we have pretty much the volume the temperature and the pressure and we can calculate the expression so let's get ahead with calculating the expression of t dou v by dou t at constant pressure p right so let's go ahead and do it so there we are we have all the values so it would be good to mark them once and in this expression yes 
sort of write here the value of a and b so b is 0 0.0803 and a is 365.358 just to make a note so that it gets easier in calculation so calculators out now we have to calculate first and then that's right, 8.314 into 298.15 divided by V is 2.4126. 2.4126 minus 0 0.0803. So that's this. And then we solve this. The denominator that's going to be 8.314 into 298.15 start and end the brackets 2.4126 minus 0.0803 come out of the bracket square it and then come out of this expression minus starter fraction once again 2 into 365.58 divided by vq that's 2.4126 the whole square that's a cube so we have to write this and so this is going to be expression is going to be First, we will have to write the cubic expression. So we write it this way. And then we write 2.4126. 4, 1. Okay. So 2.4126. Okay. And then this is the cube. So this is what we have got finally. I think the decibels or the capacity with which the calculator can do it is exhausted. So let's take this. Okay, we have taken it as 2.41, doesn't matter. So we'll have a look into it. What is the expression like? It was not showing the display. There was a, but, since I'm using an emulator, so I can't. Yes, that's 2.41. So let's see if I can change it. 2.4126. No, I can't put more decibels, but then this would suffice. 2.634. That's right. So what we have here is the expression is 2.634. Dau V by Dau T at constant pressure P is 2.634. That's right. 2.634. And what is the volume we have? So T Dau V by Dau T at constant pressure P minus V. Now this is going to be 2.634 minus 2.4126 that's going to be equal to 2.634 minus 2.4126 and that's going to be equal to 0.2214 so that's 0.2214 right and then afterwards, so if we look at the units of this, the units of this obviously is going to be meter cube per k mole, right? Now, finally, we get mu jt. That's going to be equal to 0 0.2214 divided by the value of Cp. That's 20.78. That's 
20.78. It's always a good idea to write the units so that you at least are aware that you are working towards the correct answer. So that's meter cube and that's kilo mole. Okay, so kilo mole and kilo mole gets cancelled off. And then afterwards, meter cube and kilo joule would make it kilo pascals. And then finally, you have the unit as Kelvin per kilo pascal. Right? And this will be equal to 0 0.2214 divided by 20.78 and that is equal to 0 0.010 so that's 0 0.010 kelvin per kilopascal so your mu jt is nothing but 0 0.010 kelvin per kilo Pascals. Now, as we can see here, the mu jt has a positive value here, right? So, what does this mean? Now, if it has a positive value, what does this mean? Now, this means that if the temperature T is T2 minus T1 and the pressure is P2 minus P1, and if this is positive, well, the LHS is the Definition of mu jt. If there is a reduction in pressure, there is a reduction in temperature too. Right? So we are getting throttling here, it will cause cooling. At this point, if we throttle, it will cause cooling. And that is the meaning of having a positive mu jt. So that was all about how to calculate the joule thompson coefficient hope this lecture was motivating enough to you and it was educative too please subscribe and like my channel as this keeps motivating me now now in turn you have to motivate me to make more such videos which can help you that's very important to me your subscriptions are very important to me I would actually go to the extent of requesting subscriptions because my current subscription is only 587. I need at least 1000 subscriptions to make this channel viable. It's important that you share my videos, learn from them and see to it that it gets maximum subscriptions. That will be all friends. Goodbye. Take care. Have a great day.